Hello flesh bags and welcome to another Gamer Dad's news update. I am Red's Gamma, your robotic data collector. Each week I use the awesome power of my 48k nerds to search your primitive World Wide Web and report on all the latest news in the world of video games. So let us get on with it. Here are this week's most interesting news stories. Capcom have officially announced that on November the 20th, Resident Evil 6 will be released. Rumors started last week after an internet viral campaign of pictures with the tagline No Hope Left was released alongside a website. It was late to confirm that it was Capcom that started it all. If you have not seen the trailer then go to www.residentevil.com forward slash 6 and decide for yourselves what is going on. Star Wars The Old Republic creators Bioware have announced that the game cost over $200 million to produce much more than the 80 million forecasted. The MMO. A PG has already got a user base of over 1 million and looks to keep growing as the 30-day trials run out. Analyst Michael Patcher is expecting that 75 to 90 percent of users will stay on board and become paid customers. In Xbox 360 news, it had been a good holiday quarter for Microsoft, with a reported 8.2 million units sold an increase of 1.9 million from the same time last year, making Microsoft a cool $4.24 billion in revenue. But it is not all good news as sales of the Kinect unit are slowing down. Xbox Live may be ready to drop its Microsoft Points payment scheme. The move would see Xbox Live users pay with real-world money, just like on PlayStation Network. The move is reportedly happening before the end of the calendar year. I would like to know what you flesh bags think of this story, so please let us know what you think on the Gamer Dads website. In retro and handheld news, it has been announced that Neo Geo will be making a comeback to the gaming scene with a new handheld game and console titled again the Neo Geo Pocket. Unlike its failed attempt to capture gamers' imaginations around the Game Boy and Game Gear era with its similar cartridge-based handheld console, this new console follows more along the lines of the Blaze Company's recent Sega Mega Drive handheld consoles and will contain 20 built-in Neo Geo games. It will have a 4.3-inch screen, a thumbstick, four game control buttons on the front and four shoulder buttons on its top edge. In terms of connections it will have a standard headphone jack, TV out socket, mini USB and an SD card slot. Look for a tech review by Moobit on the Retrocast channel very soon. And finally the Wii will definitely be launching this holiday season, and will be out worldwide before the end of the year. This revelation comes as Nintendo, the creators of the tablet-based console, have also revealed a massive operating loss of over £397 million, down from a £407 million profit the previous year. They also announced that the 3DS has now...